After two long years, Ping now has some new drivers on the market, the G430 drivers. Today, we are testing and reviewing them with Kevin Kraft here at the Tour Van. We'll hit some shots on track, man, and we'll tell you everything that you need to know. Golfers, make sure you subscribe to the channel, give this video a like, and then tell us in the comments what you think of the new G430 drivers. Hey golfers, I'm Drew Mahole of Second Swing Golf, joined by Kevin Kraft, Master Club fitter at the Columbia Store. Today, we're in the Twin Cities here at the Minnetonka Store uh, with some new drivers. Mm -hmm. It's a big deal. It is a big deal. Ping G430. It's been a couple years since we've had new Ping drivers, uh, so that's exciting. Very. And we've got, they're kind of standard, right? They do three models usually. Yep. They have a kind of a standard or a max. Mm -hmm. LST, SFT, we'll talk about all of them, but just give me your first impressions. You're, you've got, I think you got the LST in your hand. We've also got... SFT and uh, Max back here. So talk to me. I'm I'm really happy to see a new ping driver. Yeah. Um, G425 was a beast. Mm -hmm. It was a great driver, super forgiving, maybe a little on the loud side. Yeah. Um, and I think that's one of the main things that we've seen yep. uh, change for 2023. Um, these look great. Uh, I'm really interested to see how the performance is. Um, they've kind of made some things a little simpler on the bottom. Yep. Uh, maybe just a tad busier on the top. Yep. Uh, you know, last time around they got rid of the dragonfly technology on the outside, kind of moved it to the inside. Yep. And so we got a little bit more, a little more going on up, right. up top besides the, yep. besides the turbulators, but, um, it looks like a ping. Uh, it's look, these are the most forgiving drivers on the market. Mm -hmm. And that's yeah. what everybody's come to expect from ping. So, yep. uh, inherently they are going to do very, right. very well. Right. Um, oh yeah. And that's, I think, I mean, more or less, they have mastered the forgiveness they have. element of drivers. You know, I 100%. think if I, and, and talking to the fitters here, you know, Minneapolis, other stores, it's if someone wants forgiveness in a driver, yep. you kind of start with ping in yeah. that conversation and in Absolutely. fitting. So Absolutely. that's, so, and, and they've mastered that. And now it's kind of more about chasing maybe the other co competitors in the yes. ball speed. Right. And so I think what's really cool is they've, they've thinned out that face. Mm -hmm. um, you know, trying to get as much kind of energy transfer there at impact yeah. as possible throughout too, not just in the center. So right. with all three models, you're going to have a thinner face, mm -hmm. really trying to add that explosiveness. Sure. And for new for 2023, we've got spin system, spin consistency. There you go, man. That's hard to say. <laughs> uh, they've had it in the fairway woods and yep. the, and the hybrids. They've now added it to the driver. Mm -hmm. Those yep. shots are maybe a little bit low, a little here, a little toe. We should see, yep. you know, kind of a, a leveling out in the mm -hmm. spin, which I mean, that's, that's only going to be helpful. Yep. Yep. Yeah. So I think the the cool thing about it is if you go down on the face with that spin consistency, the loft actually goes down a little bit too. So Correct. when you Correct. do hit low on the face, yep. that spin doesn't increase as much exactly. as it would naturally with another exactly. club. So um, a couple more things we've got to point out with each of the models, right? So the SFT is in my hand and mm -hmm. I've got movable weight here, which nice. is new for the SFT. The past model was a fixed weight in the yep. back. Now there's two different draw settings. There's Love kind of that. a draw and a draw plus. Yep. So I mean, depending on how much you slice the ball, yeah. you know, maybe move that weight farther into the draw sure. setting. Otherwise the standard draw setting still does promote that draw. That's gotta be exciting. I love, yeah, I love that for, for the, for the customers. Cause the SFT, if you've got somebody who's working on their golf swing and we know that that, that game is going to change a little bit through mm -hmm. time, you know, maybe right now we need that total correction, right? But then we can put them into this driver and know that as they figure things out, the timing of the, you know, the releasing right. of the hands, as that gets better, mm -hmm. we can then, you know, throw that a notch more toward right. neutral. And then they're not kind of feeling mm -hmm. like they might potentially get stuck with a driver. Right. Uh, so I think that's going to give us a lot mm -hmm. more workability with the SFT. Right, exactly. Uh, so that's that's the SFT model, that draw bias model available at 10 and a half degrees of standard loft. You got the max. Uh, we talked about the consistency being added, especially with that one, nine, 10 and a half and 12. And then the LST we got to talk about too, yep. um, which I know is you've, found success in that one because it is so forgiving for yes. a low spin head. Yes. Um, they're adding the carbon fly wrap to that as well, which you can kind of see visually on the backside kind of of that crown there. Yep. So uh, very cool there, adding some forgiveness, but also you know adding some speed as mm -hmm. well. So I know, I imagine it'll be you know popular once again, especially for players, A, that are pretty good players yep. looking for low spin and workability, but also players that 
maybe you just spin a ton and then sure. you need to drop that down sure. while not totally losing forgiveness. Yeah, so somebody that comes in and they are spinning it quite a bit. Great thing about the LST for me is that I can put them in a driver that is still very forgiving, mm -hmm. but yet it's going to attack that spin issue that they've got. The other thing is with, you know, with the LST being a forgiving driver, I love the fact that Ping's now really kind of going after that ball speed. Yeah. They've already got the forgiveness. So yep. if they can add even more ball speed to that forgiveness, yeah. we could be looking at an absolute monster. Yeah. And the last thing we need to talk about sound. Um, because yeah. I think that was probably the number one, I guess, criticism of the G425s yep. was the sound. It was just a little bit kind of loud and brashy and yep. different, distinct. It was from distinct, the other from yes. the other brands. And so they've done some optimization internally mm -hmm. with the ribs. Yep. Um, and I got to say, I've heard good things, but I guess we'll find out for sure in here when you hit some yeah. shots yep. and we'll get your feedback on that. But I'm, I'm very optimistic about what we'll find out. Yeah. <sighs> Everybody's different. Some people loved the sound yeah. and some people really did not love yeah. the sound. Mm -hmm. So um, to each their own. Yeah. But if we can get a, a driver that sounds a little bit better and, and maybe a little less bombastic, we'll, yeah. be, we'll be in good shape. Sure. Right? Well, yeah. you ready to hit these things? Yeah, let's do it. All right. So, Kevin, you've got the G430 Max to start with today. Yep. Um, talk to me about what you see at a dress there. Looks like a ping driver. Yeah. Uh, turbulators. Yep. We're, it's just a hallmark of a hey, ping, they're, ping they're driver sticking to now. It. They're sticking to it. And a lot of people like it. A lot of people don't. Uh, but it's, it's, that's what they do. It's how they're trying to make the club move as efficiently through the air as possible. Mm -hmm. You know, so we have limits on how fast a ball can come off a club face. Right. Right. USGA controls that. So one of the ways in which manufacturers can make the ball go farther is by making the club head itself move faster. Yep. Right. Unless we're going to make changes to ourselves, yeah. which allow us to power a golf club faster. faster. Aerodynamics is one yeah. of the ways in which we can yeah. do that. Yeah. And that's so, how that's what the turbulators do. Um, it, depending on which model, I know in the past they've said it reduces drag by up to 15%. You know, there's however you want to, um, depending on the, the series and the model, but definitely reduces the drag yeah. coming on that downswing. Yep. So it it's, there's a fair bit going on yeah. you know, on the top. There's a lot of technology in here. Yeah. So, um, you know, it's maybe a little bit busy for some people. Ultimately, we're supposed to be looking at the golf ball, yeah. not the golf club. So, <laughs> yeah. you know, uh, we, we're going we're gonna to look at the golf club, yeah. but I'm not going to focus too much on it. I don't mind the turbulators. I've never, it's, yeah. it's never bothered me. Um, it looks good. It, it looks, it looks like a ping. It looks like a modern ping driver. It does. It looks like a modern ping driver. Yeah. Yes. It looks like the next evolution of, yeah, of sure. ping drivers. So um, what I'm most interested in for, for right now, for me, is we got the new Tour 2.0 Silver Shaft. Yeah. So uh, the Tour Shaft's been around for quite a while. It's been the same model for quite a while. Yeah. So I'm interested to see how this is going to feel mm -hmm. and how it's going to perform. Tour's been my number one ping right. shaft. Yep. I played probably, it for five, six years in my G30. So yeah, probably... 80 plus percent of my ping fittings end yeah. up with the, with the tour shaft. Yeah. Um, it also, you know, the stock tour shaft runs a little bit shorter. That's usually helpful for a lot of people. Yeah. Um, but it's been a great, great shaft producing really good numbers. And uh, I'm really interested to hear, mm -hmm. to hear this and see what, yeah, what, that, what that auditory response is. Yep, same. All right. Well, let's give her a whirl, see what we can create here. Well, I got to say, the initial sound. Very positive. Not uh, very different. It is. It's yeah. considerably different. Now, I didn't catch that perfectly, but I think I got it in at least a good enough spot where I would know sound wise. Yeah. You know, it felt good. Mm -hmm. It didn't give me any major, you know, feedback in the hands. So right. that wasn't too bad. Pass still a little, little hard from the inside. We'll see if we can work on that a little bit. Oh yeah, there we go. Nice. Got that one into the air a little bit. Yeah. One four eight smash. Yeah. Feels good though. I'll tell you what. The the feel off the face, very very good. Mm -hmm. it, it feels really really solid. Yeah. The sound. It's it, it, it's it's a it's the classic kind of like more of a thud that yes. you you typically hear like because in the past what I've what I've said is down all these demo bays behind mm -hmm. 
you, if someone was hitting drivers, you could tell if it was, you could a, tell G, it was a G425. Yeah. You know? Sure. I don't, I Absolutely. think that might not be the case with these. Yeah, no, I think this. tell if it's a ping. I think this sounds really good. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Now we're picking up the speed. There you go. Trying to get there. There you go. All right. The other one, I think both of the last two shots have been 110 feet in the air for a peak height. And I'm, I'm fine with that. I mean, look, ping across the board is usually my number one go-to when I've got somebody that needs a little bit, a little extra trajectory, yeah. right? We've got a really good low CG. It's all about launching the ball, getting it up yep. in the air. Um, you know, we look at the spin rates. We've been getting really good low they're, spin rates. They're very consistent. Fantastic. Right so I'm I'm perfectly comfortable with 110 feet in the air. This is a little more loft than I typically play. It's at nine and a half. Yeah. Uh, but I think I need that. I mean, I like that mm -hmm. that little bit a uh, little bit right. higher, you know, trajectory there. Yeah. I. Yeah. You're hitting the same shot every time. It looks yeah. like. I mean, it's, and I think. I'm, I'm interested, okay, I'm gonna, I don't wanna put too much pressure, but we got one more shot and I wanna see after five shots how consistent those spin numbers are. Okay. Right now it's off to a really, really Yeah, it is, it's really good. Good, uh, good start. Oh, you ripped that one. A little extra speed. There we go. Turned okay. it over a little bit more, yep. but the spin, spin did not stayed drop. Right where, right right. where we wanted. So here's what I wanted to see. Good. We've got our shots there. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that. 100 RPM. 100 on the That's consistency awesome. number there. That's really awesome. Variation. Pretty good. Yeah. Pretty good. Um, also, I mean, look at the distance too. I mean, 2.6, 2.8 for variation. Yeah. So on a you're getting that's you're you're getting more or less the same distance every time. Yep. I mean, look at that. Okay. It's, I mean, this is. I think people don't realize how zoomed in that is to see how you know it, does, it looks like it's taking up half the screen, but if you were to zoom out to show really how big. I mean, that's it's not that's that's it's not yeah that's a small area for five t shots it's a to it's a consistent pattern as mm -hmm. well and that's yeah. that's something we're, we're looking for too yeah. mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. again i think this driver did exactly what it's supposed to do it's pretty neutral i've got the ability to tune you know probably have the ability to tune a little bit of that that right sure. to left out of there just by throwing the weight up uh or potentially flattening it out yeah right the most of the driver companies are they give you anti-right bias. Mm -hmm. Ping's a little more focused the other way. They yeah. really took to heart their, their tour guys, you know, what their input was. So we've got flat setting here. We've got the ability to throw the weight in the weight in the toe. Yeah. So Ping's one of my better anti-left sure. companies as well. So mm -hmm. I really like that, yeah. you know, from a fitting standpoint. Sure, sure. So we've got, that's the max there. And I gotta say, again, I'm gonna, Look at these 24, 52, 22, 39, 23, 29, 24, 68. I mean, we're, that spin is pretty darn consistent there. Yes, and it's nice and low too. Yes. That's good. That's yes. really good. That so bodes very, very well for, mm -hmm. you know, not only speed, but also consistency. And, yeah, yeah. And so spin consistency. Yes. yes, nailed it. Spin consistency. Let's try that uh, SFT here. Okay. See how, that, how much draw we got. What do you see? You see more weight in the heel there? I do not. You do not. I do okay. not. Okay. Looks That's a like good thing. everything is being done behind the scenes. Yeah. All the work's going to be done for me without showing me something that looks. Yeah. So like do you that. even like notice? I mean, a, a difference really from the Max to the SFT? So, off the top of my head, I can't bring this up. So I'm going to ask you: Is this driver a little lighter? Is the swing weight on this driver a little lighter? I think so. Because it feels a little lighter. I might I'm, have to look. Maybe I'm crazy. The head weight is six grams lighter. Ooh, the very sensitive. Weight, the swing weight is lighter on stock. I mean, okay. it's C9 to B3, okay. so. All right, very sensitive. So, mm -hmm. yeah, you are. Yeah. I don't know. As soon as I picked it up, I was like, it feels, feels lighter. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Now, then we get to the high launches and you'll <laughs> feel that one. Oh, there's the draw. Okay. There we go. Looks, more spin. Looks a lot like what we saw before. Maybe a little bit more turn. Yeah. Okay. Interesting that I did it with more spin. Do you think, did, it, did that feel like it was strike or was that club? Doing no, that it? felt pretty good. I think that was okay. that just golf club. Because I, I mean, a club needs to have more spin in it if it's going to be draw bias, right? Because you kind of have to keep that ball in the air. Yeah, if you've like, got, if you've got low, low spin, and you're turning it over. It's if you're not high. launching it really high, yeah. it's going to fall out of the yep, sky. Exactly. Right? We don't want that. We want to be able to maximize carry and distance. Right. That 
felt really good. There it is. There it is. There it is. And it's doing its job. It is. Huh. It does seem like, and that one for sure, I noticed just like, I'm just, I'm just watching from my perspective, like where the ball hits the yeah. screen. Yep. And it just, it seems like it's inching a little bit left of the max. I, and full disclosure, I'm trying to get that club path to not be quite so much from the inside. Yeah, I, I know. As a, as a player. Yeah. And as a teacher, I don't want to see huge amounts of turn. Right. I like a nice, yeah. tight little draw. I just don't have it today. Well, so. that and I mean, that is a. It is a very draw. Yeah. It draw is a, this driver. is all the way on draw. Yeah. So yeah. 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 We're hitting that with the draw plus setting. Yes. So. It's got. I mean, it has to be curving more than the yeah. other one. I think it has. I think to be. so. Yeah. But I'm I'm impressed by the spin being, like, notably higher. Yeah, yeah I think, which is a good thing. I I, I believe for so. This driver. Yes, absolutely. So, spin is an important component in forgiveness. Mm -hmm. Okay, so when we get a spin that's too low, somebody catches it and and there's and, and has blocked it right or yeah. has turned it over left. Without spin, that ball just really doesn't have anything to, to help it stop. Mm -hmm. Guys on tour tend to be chasing a little bit, the, the guys with a lot of club head speed, yeah. tend to chase just a little bit more spin just to keep their misses from getting too far mm -hmm. away, right? So yep. when I'm fitting and I see 27 or 2800 RPM, and it's not somebody who, you know, is, you know, a really low handicap, I'm not afraid of those numbers at all yeah. because I know that that is going to help them keep the ball more mm -hmm. centered. Yeah. So. I think I'm going to reference the, um, we had Rocco mediate in here ah, did yeah. a what's in the bag video with him and he was harping throughout the video. Spin is control. You yes. need spin to have yes. control over and over. He kept saying it. And so he's got a G 400 driver because mm -hmm. it spins and it gives him the spin he needs because he wants to hit a draw. Yeah. So it's kind of, I mean, it, it works in symmetry with what we're doing right now. With it the does. SFT. Yes. You need to have enough spin to, Absolutely. Play a draw comfortably. Yes. There it is again. Mm -hmm. so Very I know, consistent, this driver. I, it is. And I know you, uh, I mean, I know you said you don't like it to, to turn that much, but no. again, draw this, bias driver. It's this kind of supposed to, yep. right? That's, yep. that's what this is, is being designed to do. Well, look at that. Oh, just. Look how inconsistent the SFT is. It's 127 <laughs> on the variation, not even close to the max. Yeah. So, <laughs> that's pretty good. Yeah, that's pretty and, good. And again, the spin didn't go through the roof either. It's it's oh, higher, but it's not obnoxious. Right. That's uh, that's perfect. I think that's exactly what. You know what that is? What is it? Well, even though it's not technically on this head, yeah, it's only on the max. That's consistency. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is. It's, yeah. It is. It really is. Um, Maybe I can take credit for that. <laughs> with this club, with this club, not yeah. so much with the other one. The other one was. was yeah, we'll work. call it we'll call it craft consistency on the, <laughs> on the SFT. Um, but this this the the distance is more or less the same. Yep. But I want to see. Yeah, there. I mean, it's uh, that's yeah. perfect. Yeah. I that's, mean, come on. That's exactly Ping doing is, what it's supposed to be doing. The clubs are doing exactly yep. what Ping is telling us. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. All right, LST time now. Okay. Very good. Let's chase some distance and low spin. Here. Yes. Let's do that. All right. Do you okay. notice? A difference in appearance on that one now. Yes, I'm sure you do because of the I carbon do. fly wrap on the back. Absolutely, yeah. I love the look of carbon fiber. Yeah, yeah, it's a very good look. I, I'm also a sucker for the. I mean, I think people on the channel know by now with how often I've said this, but the matte finish. Yeah, on drivers, yep. I yep. prefer that over glossy. And Ping always has a matte finish, so I'm a big fan of that. I also do like that. Um, you know, it looks a little more compact. Yeah, um, it feels. I think it is smaller. Feels a little heavier. Than cubic uh, centimeters too. I think it is. I believe smaller. it's four fifty yeah. as opposed to 460. slightly, which yes. so I wouldn't notice small. visually. But someone like you, how now, you know, aesthetically oriented as you've said, you are. You might catch that. Is it four fifty or four forty? Maybe four forty. Four forty. So it was the paradigm that we did yes. with. The, it was four fifty. So many numbers. Yeah. yeah. All floating around yep. in here. Mm. Okay. We got to figure it out. Yeah. So this looks really good. Again, I can't, when I set it down, I can't really tell that this has got a, a right side bias. Right. Um, it definitely doesn't look like it's got a left side bias, but the SFT didn't look like it had a left side bias either. Yeah, so everything going to be done internal. 
So let's see what kind of spin numbers we get with this and see if I can pepper that right side there as we go. might yeah. expect a little bit here. Oh, 2.0 black. Okay, tour. So, so shifting to that. Yep, so little, that can be a little, little bit... lower launching, a gotcha. little lower spinning shaft. Yep, uh, this is a new model for Ping, so yep. kind of excited to see what this one feels like. Definitely launch lower. Definitely, look mm -hmm. at that. Significantly lower. Oh yeah, spin was still a little bit up, but yeah, that may have been in, that may have been impact location. Nope, maybe not. <laughs> Actually, hit that where I was supposed to. Okay, all right. That one might be uh, our first one on the right side of the day. Nope. Oh, yeah. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, it's a little on the right side, but it's not too well, far. Well, right, right side. of the center. yes, yes. But yeah. that's a pretty good. There's ball. there's our spin number. Yep, there's the low spin. Now that's a little, little precipitous in the uh, the, yeah. the drop there. Yeah. I don't really like seeing sub nineteen hundred. Yeah. At least for my for my own self. Again, I I want enough to keep keep the the ball in control. Sure. This feels really good though, by the way. Yeah. Yeah. Shaft feels. A little bit, just a little bit stouter. Yeah, right. But Which still has still has feel. Like yeah. It's not completely boardy. Oh yeah. It's just flying a little bit lower, spinning a little bit lower. Yep. Kind of what it's supposed to do. Kind of what they say. I did set do. this one at ten degrees, mm. so okay. you know my attack angles at plus three. If I was back in my old self at plus seven, that ball would be getting up a little bit better. But, yep. Uh, don't know where I'm going to end, where I'm going to land heading into 2023, whether I'm going to be <laughs> at three, four, five, or six, somewhere in there. Ooh, yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. The hands are working today. Seeing that thing, it's it's because you were getting over 100 feet, right, with the other drivers. I think. Yeah. I think that might yeah. be the highest one with this driver so far. And 86. 86. That's so. Time to loft up. Oh yeah. There's that kind of more or less right bias. Okay. There we go. There we go. Height came up. Yeah. Right. Face isn't shutting that the, mm -hmm. the ball down, keeping right, it down right. low. Yeah. Right. So. We did have the lowest spin yep. with the LST. I know there was a couple that kind of went over kind of by 2,500, but then there was one down there at, uh, I think it was 16 or 1,600. 1,600, yeah, um, that's the one that really kind of threw off the so, mix, but. All right, interesting. We got kind of what we thought might happen based on what we knew about the clubs. Yeah. The most spin with the SFT, I think, is encouraging. Although, I mean, the Max and the LST getting close together there, yeah. worth noting, and then we look at the map, we do see that right side come into play a little bit more with yep. that kind of kind of right side bias a little bit, being a low spin club. Um, any other thoughts you have before we kind of jump into the final thoughts? Um, I could definitely tell a difference in the weighting across the yeah. across the three. Mm -hmm. So that'll be something to consider as we're mm -hmm. going through this, especially with the SFT having two different you know, settings. Yeah. Now, you know, with putting it on the less draw setting, it's going to make it a little more like the max, but it's going to weigh a little bit less. Yeah. So that can be a, uh, can be a real positive for us in the fitting bay. Right. Um, you know, part of the, part of the appeal of a, of an LST being a little bit heavier, a little heavier is gonna be a little harder to square up. We should see a little bit more of the, the right side. Yeah. Uh, in there as well. So there's, there's a number of technologies and a number of things at play throughout right. the, throughout this line. And there's definitely something for everybody in here and mm -hmm. they all feel really good. Yeah. They all, they all sound really good. They all sound like really I, good. I didn't hit a single shot through that process that, that Was did not sound harsh. appealing to me. No, nothing, nothing harsh, nothing harsh about it. I think no. Ping really, has definitely really fixed that. And I think there's also, you mentioned at the beginning, three distinct models and characteristics mm -hmm. about each one. I mean, clear as day, I think we saw there that. It is. We've said it before. I love a golf club that does what it's supposed to do. <laughs> All right, Kevin, testing complete there with the Ping mm -hmm. G430 drivers, a few shots with each model. And I think we were looking for the, you know, see some good ball speed, yep. um, see some consistency. And then we also were 
you know, focus on the sound. I think yeah. we for sure know the consistency and the sound are, yes. are like elite with these drivers. Yes. I think we'll have to kind of maybe do some tests with other brands and get a competitor's analysis, if you will, with Absolutely. these uh, models against others here that ball yeah. speed is lined up. But we know the sound, we know the consistency yep. is there. Um, yeah, the, it's it's a ping driver. Mm -hmm. It's very forgiving. Yeah. Um, there's a lot to see there on the top. And that just indicates that there's a lot of technology right. going on in there to help you. Yep. Um, mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm impressed. Feel is fantastic. Yep. Uh, I think it's a little bit more responsive than the G425 was uh, sure. coming off the face. The sound, obviously, I mean, they knew that they needed to make a change. Everybody knew they needed to make a change and they've nailed it. Like, yeah. It sounds so good coming off the golf club now. Yep. Um, there's absolutely no hurdles to putting these in anybody's right. hands. Yeah, I love to hear that, and Ping loves to hear that too, because yeah. it's, it's like you like you always say, it's great when a golf club does what it's supposed to do. Absolutely. And each of these has done that, at least yep. in the initial testing. Yeah. So the G430 Max, um, the one they're kind of aiming at for the widest range of mm -hmm. players, but kind of talk to me about um, if someone's coming for a driver fitting and they end up with a G430 Max, what type of player are they probably? So. It can be anybody. I yeah. mean, truly, the, the 420 or 430 Max can fit into absolutely anybody's hands. It's all going to come down to, you know, what the what the spin numbers look like, yeah. what the launch numbers look like. Um, if somebody's not, you know, not spinning it enough, yeah. we have ways to adjust it mm -hmm. to try to pull that up a little bit. Uh, if somebody's spinning it too much, obviously, right. you can easily look into the LST yeah. without throwing them into a golf club that's going to make golf harder. Right. LST is still a very, very forgiving golf club designed to spin less. Um, mm -hmm. and, and so we've got those ways to go. And if we've got somebody that needs a little more help squaring it up, now we got an SFT right. with two different settings to, to mm -hmm. you know really dial in that that right. correction, but the the max is, the max is for everybody. It yep. is absolutely for everybody. Super super forgiving. Really good ball speeds. Right. Really good spin characteristics. Yeah. Uh, it's it's a great driver yes. that that anybody from a from a brand new golfer to a touring professional will play. Yeah, it was it was awesome in the testing and I like to your point. I I think that's the cool thing about this driver is a tour professional can play it, like you said. Anybody to uh, almost a beginner can throw mm -hmm. this thing in the bag. They're going to see the performance benefits of it. The LST, we saw a little bit lower launching. So yep. the player that, like you've talked about, maybe spins at a ton or comes mm -hmm. in, it's really steep or something like that, could benefit from it. And you like to put players that might be even mid to high handicappers that generate a bunch of spin into that driver, like sure. you just mentioned. Um, and then SFT, we saw that that draw bias and yep. effect and the adjustability on the back of that yes. as well is going to be that. big for you i'm sure in the fittings yeah the, from a from a fitting perspective i mean this this covers absolutely everybody and then some mm -hmm. uh, i'm excited to get to work with these and uh and get them in people's hands awesome i i think we're very excited for them to be in the fitting bay that's yes. that swing and then uh we're gonna have golfers coming in here at, once january hits uh it's gonna be a busy time, I'm sure, for yes, it is. Um, our fitters. So golfers, schedule those fittings. Get a G430 driver in the bag, the right one for your game, of course. Uh, get a fitting with Kevin or any of our expert master fitters. We'll get you set up for a ping G430 driver that is right for your swing. Um, Kevin, thanks for all your insight and your sh you're hitting your swings today. I mean, great stuff. My pleasure. A lot of fun. <laughs>